Hello and welcome. In this episode, we're unlocking the secrets of one of the most famous theorems in mathematics history, Pythagoras' theorem. Before we can jump into the theorem itself, there's a few important definitions to cover. An angle that measures exactly 90 degrees is called a right angle. This is one of the most fundamental concepts in trigonometry, and it is often symbolised by a small square placed in the angle's corner. Right angles are a key component in various geometric shapes, including rectangles and squares. Building on this definition, a triangle which contains a 90 degree angle is called a right angle triangle. When applying Pythagoras' theorem, it's crucial to confirm that we're working with a right angle triangle, as the theorem exclusively applies to this situation. If the triangle is not right angled, then Pythagoras' theorem cannot be used. In a right angle triangle, the side across from the right angle is called the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse will always be the longest side in the triangle. Let's take a moment to test your knowledge on these important definitions. Now that we have the necessary background knowledge, let's look at the statement of Pythagoras' theorem. In a right-angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. To formulate this mathematically, it helps to work with a diagram. Given a right-angled triangle, we can label the hypotenuse as H and label the other two sides as A and B. Pythagoras' theorem states that H squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Let's see some examples of this theorem in action. Consider this right angle triangle. One side is labelled as being 6 centimetres long, and another as 8 centimetres long. We can use Pythagoras' theorem to find the value of x, the length of the third side. Well, the theorem states that h squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. The first step is to identify the values of h a and B. H refers to the hypotenuse, which is the side across from the right angle. In our triangle, this corresponds to X. A and B refer to the other two sides, and these can be assigned in either order. In our triangle, we can let A be 8 and B be 6. Putting these values into our formula, 
tells us that x squared is equal to 8 squared plus 6 squared. 8 squared is equal to 64, and 6 squared is equal to 36. 64 plus 36 gives us 100, which tells us that x squared is equal to 100. To find the value of x, we must remove the squared operation. We do this by taking the square root of both sides of the equation. The square root of x squared is just x, and the square root of 100 is 10. So our final answer is that x equals 10 centimetres. Let's take a look at another example. This time the sides are labelled as 16.4 centimetres, 14.9 centimetres, and x. The hypotenuse, h, is located across from the right angle. This corresponds to the x. The other two sides get labelled with a and b. Here we can set a equal to 16.4 and b equal to 14.9. Putting these values into the statement of the theorem tells us that x squared equals 16.4 squared plus 14.9 squared. Using our calculator to compute the right hand side, we see that x squared equals 490.97. Like before, we can remove the squared operation by taking the square root of both sides. Using our calculator again to compute the square root on the right hand side tells us that x is approximately equal to 22.2 centimetres. Let's have a go at one final example. In this triangle, the sides are labelled as 8.9 cm, 7.3 cm, and x. To identify the hypotenuse, h, we look across from the right angle. In this triangle, h is equal to 8.9. The other two sides should be labelled with a and b. Here we can set a equal to 7.3 and b equal to x. When we put these values into the statement of Pythagoras' theorem, we get 8.9 squared is equal to 7.3 squared plus x squared. This looks a bit different from the first two examples, and that's because the unknown side, x, does not correspond to the hypotenuse of the triangle. To solve this equation, we should start by simplifying things with our calculator. 8.9 squared equals 79.21, and 7.3 squared equals 53.29. In order to isolate our x term, there's two things we need to remove from the right-hand side the plus 53.29 term, and the squared operation. To remove the plus 53.29, we must subtract 53.29 from both sides. Calculating the left-hand side tells us that 25.92 equals x squared. Now, to remove the squared operation, we must square root both sides. Rounded to one decimal place, this brings us to a final answer of x equals 5.1. To summarise, there's two key skills required to apply Pythagoras' theorem. Skill one is to look at the triangle, correctly identify the values of h, a and b, and then use these values to create a mathematical equation. Skill two is to use your knowledge of algebra 
to solve the resulting equation. To finish this video, we'll use some quick-fire multiple-choice questions to help you practice skill 1. Then, I'll present two longer exercises which you can use to practice both of our skills together. As promised, here's two exercises for you to try. Get out some pen and paper and give them a go. The answers are included in the video description, so feel free to have a peek at these whenever you're done working. 